Hello everyone, I'm Stefan. In this video, we are going to learn how to graph a quadratic function using transformation. There are many kinds of transformation. We have uh, horizontal shifting, and we have stretch and compress, and we have reflection, and we have vertical shifting. The standard equation of a quadratic function is something like this f of x equal ax square plus bx plus c however some to apply the transformation we try to make it something transform transform this this here function to this kind here is and we'll write it like uh, f of x equal a times x minus h square plus k and this k h and k present the vertex point and what's the vertex point is uh, usually if we see in this graph is here it will be the lowest point or the highest point in a graph if the graph looks up it will be the lowest point it will be minima and if the graph if it looks down it will be maxima because it will be the highest point on the graph like a mountain and this like uh, you have a hole in the ground and this is the lowest point so what is vertex line how we find it the vertex by converting completing the square of this function or just by taking you put it as minus b over 2a so h is minus b over 2a and k is f of minus b over 2k and if you see this one here x equal minus b over 2a is going to be the axis of symmetry of the of uh, the, the parabola the parabola is the the graph of a quadratic function is always ha has a, a axis of symmetry and this is the the line that it will be the axis of symmetry so but in but if you see this graph here is the basic is the basic uh, quadratic function is just written as f of x equal x square in this case we have a is just one and we have h zero and we have k zero so the vertex is just zero zero and the axis of symmetry is the y-axis and this is, is considered a even function when is an even function all even functions they have an axis of symmetry the y-axis however the odd functions has the point of symmetry as the center of the graph something like this it could be or something like this it will be this point here the symmetry the center of the symmetry this is just uh, other information so to to apply the horizontal shifting so the graph you move it this way or you move it this way if is h positive you move it this way and if is h negative you move it this way as an observation if you see this here is minus h if you see for example here x plus 1 you are going to move it negative 1 this because h will be negative 1 if you see x minus 2 so h is 2 you are going to move it this way because it looks like confusing it's a different sign and if we have a uh, compression and stretch if you have this a this a here is uh, bigger than 1 the graph here will be stretched like something like this it will be less wide like less wider like you're taking this graph here the one the origin and and you take it from the top and you pull it up like you are pulling it this way here up so it will be less wider it will be something like this and if uh, a is is less than one it will be something like this it will be a little bit wider like this i'm going this like you take this graph and you pull it from both sides you make it wider about reflection if is a negative 
the graph it will be looking down in this case if is a negative one we have here negative one the graph will be like this so you take that one and you flip it and it's saying a reflection like if you have a mirror here you can see the graph like this or close to the water or something like the door of the, the the door of the house and if you have water you can see like this is opposite the reason why they call it a reflection about vertical shifting this k here is the responsible about vertical shifting if x if uh, k is positive the graph goes up like you are pulling this point here up so it will be something like this and if is a negative uh, if is k negative it will be pulling it down so it will be something like this otherwise if it was like this the graph you still are going to pull it down if is a negative it will be like this if is a positive you pull it up like this and it will be like this this everything about the the shifting the transformation shifting reflection all kind of transformation is the only ones we have so let's do an example and apply them all of them in one example so let's do that we have this example here so let's uh, convert it how we said and try to make it similar to to the start the, to the form so what we're going to do we're going to factor negative 2 negative 2 times x squared plus 6x minus 10 so we moved this uh, 2 from all of them this is just negative 2 times x squared minus this is just negative 2 multiply in 6x we have here 6x and this is just negative 2 multiply in negative 10 so we have 10 we insulate 2 so what we are going to get we have to complete the square in this case we have negative 2 times x square plus 2 times x times 3 plus 9 minus 9 minus 10 so what we did in this case you see we have 3 here what we are missing to finish uh, to complete the square we are missing 3 3 square is 9 I add it here so this is, is have a plus b squared is just a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so this is the formula here so what we are missing to complete the square we are missing 9 since we add 9 we have to subtract 9 so it will have same result this is equal to 0 like we didn't add in 0 like you didn't add anything so what we are going to have we are going to have negative 2 times so we said this one here it will be ending to here so separate from here this here is going to be just x plus 3 squared so let's write it x plus 3 squared and we have we start with minus 19 so we see that for this graph we have the vertex v is equal to negative 3 19 19 and we have the axis of symmetry it will be x equal negative 3 so this is what we have in this case here so let's try to apply all kind of uh, of uh, transformation first of all we have here negative 2 so the graph is going to be stretched you see negative 2 here so the graph here will be this this uh, wider will be something like this so let's write it down let's uh, draw it so we have when 
x so we have it is negative 2 it will be like something like this 2 4 so it will be 1 it will give us 2 here this point and 2 it will give us 8 1 2 3 4 8 is here so it's going to be something like this this is the first transformation is stretching and there will be something like this we said one is two and eight two is eight is here so it's going to be something like this now we apply the value two but we have to put it down because it's negative two so it's going to be take this one and reflect it down it will be something like this it's going from 8 is here and 8 and we have 2 is 1 is 4 1 is 2 So it's going to be something like this and something like this. One is two is here. So now we, we apply two transformation, reflection and stretching. So now we have this is the one. So what we are still needing, we still need move it. three and move it 19 we are moving it three to the left this way here we move it three so we take this graph here and we move it this is one one two three we move it here so we'll be moving it this way here so let's do it what we're going to have the same one we just move it to this side here so it's going to be something like this move it one is two is here one is two is here and then go to eight so it's going to be something like this something like this Let's delete this. So now we moved it three, negative three, and then we have to move it nineteen, vertical nineteen, like this it will be the top of the bottom negative nineteen. So it will be down nineteen. So we take this one and we move it nineteen to the bottom. We don't have space, but it's going to be something like this but the vertex here will be negative 3 negative 19 and you take it down hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching take care